So I'm here with Bryson Allen. He's a member of the Everett Community College baseball team. And, and Bryson, you know, you guys are here at the NWAC tournament. Um, you know, it takes a lot of work to get here. What things are you hoping to accomplish? And what things are you hoping to experience here at the tournament? Um, we're just really trying to have uh, fun. Um, we've been having a pretty good year, I'd say. Um, not really want to change anything up, not play too big for the moment. I mean, it's the same as it was in preseason and league, and now here it's really no different. I mean, it's a bigger stage, but if we just stay within ourselves, um, I think we could fare out pretty well. And then, you know, you heard the college level, and the college level is obviously a, a step up from high school and even summer league ball. What things have you had to learn? What things have you had to adjust to here at the college level? I think ultimately just um, the biggest adjustment is just, I mean, you're facing lineups that are um, very well-rounded, one through nine. Um, there's really no holes in lineups you're facing. Um, Another big thing is just uh, the team I'm on now. Everyone's chasing one thing. Um, that's the focus, um, and that's really it. And then, you know, you're also um, you know, coming out of high school. You have to decide, you know, what college you want to go to. What things led you to want to go to Everett, and what really was kind of the uh, the, the factor that really made you make that decision to commit to Everett? Um, some of the biggest things were uh, coaching. They were very open to me as being a pitcher and throwing philosophy. Um, I, was able, I was able to incorporate things I like to do personally along with also what they had to offer. Um, JoJo was pitching coach at the time, and I thought we clicked really well. Um, just on recruiting trips and when we talked over the phone. Um, and I thought it just it was a very good fit out of high school. Awesome. It's always good to, to know coming out of high school you got a good fit you're going to move into. And then, you know, for a lot of players when they're younger, they look at Major League Baseball and they see players that they, they love to follow, love to watch, or even just teams that they enjoy. Is there a player that you kind of want to uh, follow the way they, they played the game or their attitude, or is there just a team that you followed? Um, a guy I really like to um, watch is Max Scherzer. Um, I just really like the fire he brings in games. Um, he's locked in from pitch one to whenever he's done with the day. Um, I like the intensity he brings. Um, nothing really beats it in my opinion. Yeah, Max is definitely one of those guys that once he gets focused, there's no getting him out of that. Mm -hmm. And then also for a lot of players as they're growing up, they have to face you know a lot of challenges, a lot of hardships, but there's always people in their lives who will push them, motivate them. Who in your life would you look at and say, you know, that person has motivated me to always be my best? I would say that that would be my dad. Um, he has, I mean, really throughout my life given me the opportunity to be able to play baseball. Um, and he's been really, I'd say, my number one supporter. And I mean, whether it goes good or bad, um, there's always something at the end of the day, I mean, to be thankful for. And I mean, I think that's just something that is priceless to have. Absolutely, always having that positive attitude helps, especially in baseball, mm -hmm. where, you know, every pitch could be a mistake and you gotta get over it and move on. So, for, for you being a pitcher, is there a routine or even to an extreme extent superstitions that you follow that you just uh, you like to have, or is it just kind of you know you kind of feel it as you go? Um, I would say yeah, there's a lot of uh, routine that goes behind it. Um, from the minute I wake up, uh, there's got to be a pretty strict schedule we go by. Um, it's pretty elaborate. Um, I don't know if you want if you want me to kind of carry on with it. Oh, it's okay. Um, I'd say I'll probably I'll just say um, that something I at least have to do before I get to the field is watch Rocky to Rocky too. Um, uh, so yeah, I brought that down um, on the trip with us. So I'll be watching that um, tomorrow before the game in the hotel room. That's a pretty good movie when it comes to motivation, so I, I, I can agree with that. Last question I have for you, you know, when you're out the field, there's always a lot of kids who are out watching the games. What advice would you have for, for those kids who want to play at the upper levels, want to play at college? Um, just what things should they try and achieve? 
I would uh, just say, I mean, being specifically being a, a um, baseball player at the JUCO level, I mean, don't be afraid. To, I mean, bet on yourself, your career. Um, I mean, you can always get better. Um, I wasn't there yet out of high school, and I knew after my time here, um, just me personally. Um, the work I put in and also being able to work with great coaches like we have, I think it's a great, a great fit. And I mean, just, I mean, don't listen to what others have to say. Just, I mean, believe in yourself, really. Awesome. Well, thank you very much.